It's a beautiful day at most pure heart. A beautiful day at most pure heart of Mary. Of Mary. I have always wanted a parishioner just like you. I've always wanted to be in a great parish with you. So let's make the most of this beautiful day. Since we're together, we might as well say, would you be mine? Could you be mine? Won't you be my parishioner? Won't you be? Please won't you be my parishioner? Hello, parishioner. I bet that sounds familiar. It was familiar to me growing up. I used to watch Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, and I just recently saw uh, the movie in the theater, and I was really moved by um, Mr. Rogers' life. He was authentic, he loved children, he had a deep Christian faith, and he was an amazing human person who really showed love and um, care for the person right in front of him. And his TV show on, uh, for children about the neighborhood really could help us celebrate our Advent. In this Advent season, we prepare for Christmas, which is when our Lord and God truly becomes our neighbor. He takes flesh, walks our walk, and even will die our death. Now, God is always near. He's never been far away. But we do celebrate how he takes flesh. And, and, and yes, he's on earth, our literal neighbor. And Jesus shows that through welcoming people, eating with them, uh, showing them the greatest love and service. Ultimately, he wants us to be his neighbors in heaven in his father's house. And that is love, and that's what neighborliness and hospitality is all about. And we think of that perfect neighborhood of heaven. Well, the parish should be a reflection of that. So as we prepare for Christmas, how can we show neighborliness, hospitality, and really love one another? What is fascinating, I find, about Mr. Rogers, and especially that movie, is just how he treated people. And when you encountered him, you really did encounter him. It was like you're the only person in the world, the attention he gave you. It reminds me of stories of the saints. They said that sometimes you meet somebody like St. John Paul II or Mother Teresa. There's this encounter where, unlike no other, and their attention was focused on you like there was or is no other person in the world but you and them. That kind of love and encounter. Maybe we could grow in that. Who among us is, is like that? I think we have room to grow. So in these days, uh, let's welcome and greet each other and know each other. And any buddy who comes for Christmas... Uh, let's greet them in that way. By showing hospitality to each other, perhaps we'll be ready to show hospitality to Jesus. So I hope you have a very blessed uh, Advent, second week here, and uh, let's get ready to welcome Jesus to our neighborhood, especially more fully into our parish. It's tough to tie your shoes sometimes, neighbor. Hello, Daniel. Hi, Father Greg. What are you doing? I'm checking out this neighborhood here in Bethlehem. <coughs> Careful, Daniel. <coughs> I'm sad. Why, why are you sad, Daniel? There's no baby Jesus. I don't smell him anywhere. Well, he's not here yet. He comes at Christmas. Oh, yay! Yay! <laughs> I'm running super fast right now. <laughs> <laughs>